It's an exciting day on the farm. A few days ago, my friend Stephanie from Hopewell Heights, she brought by our newest animal. Whenever one goes, the other one will go. Is she littler, littler than you expected, Luke, or not? Maybe. You'll follow me, and then Jenny will follow you. Come on, Jenny. Jenny. Okay, which one are we? Oh, this, yeah. one's the, this one's the one we're going to be keeping. Oh, yeah, she is fat. Yes. So, <laughs> yeah, you can tell she's expecting. Yeah, she's goats expecting. are such friendly creatures. They have to have a buddy. They'll never go anywhere alone, so that's why she is following her. If you can leave one, then the other will always follow her. That's so fun. Yeah. Um, Stephanie, are we supposed to grab the alfalfa? Yeah, okay. If you need more, just let me know. We've got a barn full. Alright, girls. Come on. Come on. Here you go. And she knew that one of them would be having her kids any day. And so, what do you have over here? What is this? There's two bucks, two boys and a girl. Are you guys nursing okay? <laughs> Aren't they the most adorable thing? Oh my goodness. Daniel, did you see the goats? Do you see them? Are they cute? Daniel is six months today. Okay, I'm gonna let you be. Take care of your babies. And my friend Stephanie also brought by Blair. This is one of hers. We're just borrowing her until we get another goat because she needs a hooved companion. Um, Jenny does there. They like to have friends. So we are hoping in the fall to buy Stephanie's other mini Sanin and then give her back Blair. But for now, this is her hooved companion, so we're keeping them both in here. I'll show you the setup we have. We have our barn here. We fenced around the barn. And then we've just partitioned off a part of it for the goats because we didn't want them in the entire barn area but this is a pretty good little shelter and then whenever we go to separate the babies at night we're gonna we're gonna leave the kids on her so that we only milk once a day but we will separate them at night milk first thing in the morning and put them back together I was thinking and I could be wrong but I think this little area might be a really good spot for them the door I uh, will have to do a few things in there to get ready for that, but it will be a while. We'll leave the kids on for a while before separating them. Now don't get too close. Let's just let her be, okay? Hey, just leave it shut, but you can you can look from there. They're nursing now. Okay? We'll go we'll go look at them more later. But there's three. She just had them. Miss Stephanie thought there would be three because she looked really big for a tiny goat. And oh my word, there was three. I think it's the, the girl that's the smaller one. We've also been working on our raised beds. That's another addition to the farm.
getting the garden ready. You say garden? Garden. <laughs> I made you this big playpen. You want to get in? There you go. Yeah. <laughs> really? The topsoil should be. <laughs> These are. I ripped up. See the two by fours are a little more than a regular stud. Okay. I ripped down the eight foot, eight foot one and a half. Almost three feet. Okay. <laughs> Yes, I want to plant all of this without a bed. We'll fence in the whole entire thing, probably with some kind of picket fence. Rock? Like some kind of cool pebble rock or... You mean in between the beds? Yeah, because that, like, that will make it look so much better. Whenever like, it's all something, like maybe just mulch, because you can get free loads from Amarin delivered of just mulch. We added some of these we used cedar decking this time. Last year we used cedar fence posts. We decided to keep them, but we ended up like, or fence pickets. Slats, uh, pickets. Pickets. Yeah. We decided to keep them, of course, but we worked it into with the new design because we wanted something a little bit thicker that would maybe last a little bit longer. But this arrangement looks really good. I think it'll stay like this until we, until any of them like completely decay. But they're all cedar, and it's more than enough growing space for us to handle, at least for now. We also added more chicks. Thought we would just stick with 20. We have 11 already, but we ended up getting a lot more. Whoops. So here's our four Americanas. They're getting huge. And then over here we have, what do we have? Black Copper Moran. Oh, I'll have to look at the paper. I forget what all we have. I picked ones that would lay really pretty eggs. <laughs> that was my goal to have a diversified egg basket. So we have, what do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 12, 13, 14, 18. Oh boy. I think we have close to, what do we have? Close to 30 chickens now. And I know that we can't put any of these in with the big chickens yet. We weren't sure if we could even do this, but they've been in here for days and they've been just fine with these. They both stay on their own sides. Luke and I were just talking that this place just looks right without the rundown little cabin here that yes had some curb appeal from the front but pretty much nowhere else was a little bit rundown. The beds, the nice fencing, and we fixed the side of the barn and the little chicken coop. It's really starting to turn into a little homestead. That's what you'll end up with. That's what I've that's what I'm hoping to get. Ooh, like. that looks really good. Yeah, so uh, it's, it's taken me many a scoop scoop to mix it together. Yeah, I mean it, it works pretty well. With the so it's just some mulch that's like you said, just broke down a little bit. Basically, yeah. It's not quite as composty as I was. Can you say goats? <laughs> Are you feeling like a two-year-old right now? <laughs> yep. Oh goodness. You'll be happy when we see those baby goats, won't you? Jack Jack and the goats are friends. He just stays right outside. Let's go look at him. Come on. That is adorable, Jack Jack. You're just <laughs> sitting there being friends with those babies. Let's go. Jack, you can't go in. Micah, we gotta find those chickens I put in here. Do they all get out? 
Oh, they're all here in the corner. That's a big goat. Is that Miss Blair? I think if we go out here, Miss Blair will follow us. Say, come on, Blair. They're so, so sweet. Oh my goodness. So the two bigger ones are the bucks, as far as I can tell. And this little tiny one is a little girly. I don't know if it's normal for them to be smaller, but she is considerably smaller. She can reach to nurse. My sister is a cattle farmer and she came over and said, well, you better make sure that she can reach because they have calves sometimes that are too small and can't actually reach, but she's, she's able to. So that's not a problem. And she's, what, four days, four days old by now. So looking healthy and strong. And I absolutely love how they hop. It is the cutest thing ever. They hop around. Oh, what do you think of the goats, Danny? Hmm? She's not flying, see? <laughs> yeah. ba barnyard friends. How cute. Oh my word. I don't think Blair's gonna stand for that much longer. Have we come up with a name for this little lady yet? Have we come up with a name for this sweet little lady yet? Oh. <laughs> Here is the finished raised bed configuration at the moment. Here are all my seedlings that I grew indoors. I honestly don't know if they'll make it. Some of them look pretty leggy. They were reaching toward the sun and we'll see, but we had fun watching them grow and we're gonna get them in the garden. I tried to bring them out a few days to get them hardened off a bit. Raised beds and goats and I'll update you next week. We're probably planning on getting some kind of rock in the paths of this, the raised beds and then also a fence around the outside of it. So see if we get that done this week and if we do, I'll share it in my next what's going on on the farm this week. All right, well, thank you so much for watching this video. If you're brand new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I make two new videos every week on food from scratch, natural living, and a handmade home, and our farm life now. Thank you so much for stopping by the farmhouse.